In Uganda, 90% of the population uses firewood and charcoal as primary sources of energy for cooking, according to the Uganda National Household Survey of 2021 by the Uganda National Bureau of Statistics. The demand for biomass is therefore not suitable as the population continues to grow. This requires that alternative and friendly sources of energy be innovated. Stakeholders in the energy sector are involving young people to find solutions for renewable energy. Energy Step Up Standard Limited, a research organization, placed a call for an AC contest where young people were required to write about the possibility of Uganda adopting clean energy. Uh, this was an essay competition, but it was really not meant for just uh, writing an essay, reviewing it, and awarding people. It was so that we come together, we used it as an entry point to come together as players towards uh, addressing climate change. Um, so we've developed uh, linkages, which we hope will develop into partnerships. We w want to continue mentoring the people who've competed so that they can make good what they are proposing and so that they can improve their writing. So there's various directions that we think this might go. First of all, generally as a nation, we need to sensitize. Because as much as we like to think about this on, in terms of it does not concern us, it does. The amount of rain we are receiving right now is generally because of climate change. And as my, it might not be our fault, but we contribute in some small way. That schools, I think, should also step up on teaching about environmental conservation. We've learned about environment in primary school, but I do not think we went to the depth of how the environment affects everything else in the ecosystem that is this planet. And as teachers, I think it would be good to just give in homework, really, little assignments um, to, for the students to just go and talk, to you know, talk to their students, give them specific topics on this, so they talk to each other about it, start a discussion. Okay. Leaving no one behind is a reason as to why we have to include everybody in this energy integration agenda. Why? I will use the motto for a school in Western Uganda, but a high school, a tree bends when it is still young. So when you include the young people, they will have that knowledge and they will be ambassadors to their homes and the communities. A total of eight schools from three districts, Wakiso, Mubindi and Kampala participated. Bahemuka Makris emerged as the winner in the youth category. Nakasita Betty came in second, while Leah Rogers was the winner in the secondary category. Uh, they wanted us to write an essay, whether it is possible or impossible for Uganda, like any other country, globally, to adapt to green energy. Uh, there is nothing that is impossible until it is impossible. Uh, my essay mostly was seeing on how we can use renewable energy, basically in transport, uh, in industry, and the home-based. So um, I decided to participate. I wrote an essay. Um, I argued that it is clearly very possible for Ugandans to adopt clean energy in these three sectors. Now, for example, if we consider the, the cooking sector, right? So we have um, hydroelectricity that can be used for cooking and this is clean energy. We have solar now that has been developed that can be used in cooking. We have other, you know, other cooking technologies using uh, energy saving stoves and all that. So you really see that with time, Ugandans are going to take this up and then clean energy will be uh, brought, uh, integrated into this sector. And with time, of course, we may move out, we may be able to successfully move away from these non-renewable energy sources. So Involving young people to contribute to finding solutions for renewable energy is critical because they are the future generation. Justin Nakami, Adia Nakuti, UBC News.